I don't think you're getting the whole picture. This guy is going to bring us luck. I can, I can just oh, feel it. Oh, yeah. Well, let's hope. Oh, my God. Is that real? Yeah, yeah it looks it. Your porcupine had a gun stuffed in it. Don't look at me. I just thought he was cute. Cute? He's deadly. Whoa, whoa. Don't touch it. Why not? Don't you watch TV? You touch it, you get your fingerprints on it, you get your perfume, skin cells. We can't just leave it sitting here. I mean, can you tell anything by just looking at it? <sighs> Didn't that woman on Axis Lambview say something about what kind of bullet killed Victor Lord? Phyllis Rose, yes, it was a 9mm. Bingo. What? You think that's the murder weapon? That's the gun that killed Victor Lord? So you really think that's the murder weapon? It's possible. I mean, what's it doing in a porcupine? So someone hid it in there? I don't know. Maybe. Well, you know what? It doesn't matter. That's not the point. The point is it's in our room, and the police don't know what to do with it. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. What? We have to call the cops. No way. The police have been looking for the murder weapon. We have to call them. Aubrey. Or should I call you Christine? Since Aubrey's the name that you used to scam one of Landview's most prominent citizens. Your point? My point is that we're not exactly popular with the police right now. So we show up with a murder weapon, they might try and pin the murder on us. What? We didn't even know Victor Lord. Why would the police think we had anything to do with his murder? Because it's convenient. All right, the press has been screaming for an arrest. And we show up with, with a murder weapon in our pocket. You mean our porcupine? You know how they are. They're relentless. They'll keep digging and digging until they find something, something to link us to the murder. And then it's bye-bye you and me. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on a second, Cutter. What is going on? You've been acting really weird since your sister got here. What aren't you telling me? Destiny's parents... I'm not trying to hide anything from you. you got to understand that, all right? You want to hear about my sister? I'll tell you whatever I know. After we figure out what to do with this gun. Sorry, it's kind of a conversation stopper. Okay, true. you got to believe me. I'm here for the long haul. Just you and me. Why do you think I got that stupid job? I'm trying to go straight. But if they hear that I got hauled into the station to explain some weapon that I brought on the premises, not good. Yeah, but what if it's the real murder weapon? What if it could help the cops catch the killer? I mean, somebody obviously hid it in the stupid porcupine. It's not stupid. Are you stupid? Where did you get it anyway? I got it at the flea market. Roxy's table. She was arguing with Echo, so I just put the money down and took them home. What were they arguing about? Hell if I know. I'm just saying, maybe it was about Victor Lord. Maybe they killed him. Those two broads? Anything's possible. In this town? Yeah, you're right. But why, why would they want Victor Lord dead? Wait, isn't Echo Rex Balsam's mother? Biological mom, but Roxy raised him. So... Maybe the gun belonged to Rex. He had every reason to want Victor Lord dead. Rex blamed Victor Lord and his son for Gigi's death. So Rex killed Victor. And Roxy and Echo hid the gun. In a porcupine? Who'd look in a porcupine? The person who bought it? I, I, I just picked it up. I didn't even talk to anybody. Maybe it wasn't really for sale. Oh, they're going to be pretty upset when they realize it's missing. Yeah, so's Rex. And he's going to want that gun back. And he's got a ton of money now that he's in Buchanan. What are you saying? Nothing. Just that, you know, he's going to want the gun back. And maybe we should let him know that we have it. So you can blackmail him. Blackmail Rex? What, what are you, crazy? No, no, I just think we should let him know that we have it. And, you know... That we're on his side. And then if he feels grateful, who am I to turn down his generosity? Somebody who's supposed to be going legit. Who just gave me that big, long speech about how he's in it for the long haul? And I meant it. Is it my fault this gun just fell into my lap? We didn't kill Victor Lord, and if Rex did, he could damn well pay to keep himself out of jail. Oh, I knew it. I knew you weren't going to change. I'm doing this for you. Look at this place. It's a hellhole. You really want to live like this? I'm not going to get us out working the front desk in this job interview you're going for. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I've got to get over there. 
Okay, okay, just go. We'll we'll deal with this later. No, 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 no. We'll figure there it out. There is nothing to figure out. You are not blackmailing Rex Balsam. Do you understand me? I would not seduce him when you wanted me to. I'm not going to stick by you while you try to extort money from him. I'm I'm serious, Cutter. You go after him, I'm out of here. You're right. We decided to go legit. That's what we're going to do. So you'll call the cops. I already said I don't want our names involved. So just do it anonymously. You can do that, right? Or, I don't know, throw it in a mailbox. The mailman can deliver it. But use gloves. Good idea. Good. Because I really want this to work. Me too. And I got a good feeling about this interview you're going on. Okay. I can lose you again. Just turn that gun in. And you'll have nothing to worry about. Yeah. What Aubrey doesn't know won't hurt her, right, Morris? Besides, this gun might come in handy. I'm gonna hold on to it for a little bit longer. Get one chance, boss. I can't believe he's gone. <gasps>